die 2. So, every good thing must have an end, and this is the end of Paulus Hector Meyer's play. Oh, plays, as far as we know, play number eight. Two more strikes, or mehr zween Oberschläg. We're pretty sure about the first steps of this, when we stand in our postures. We now stand with our left leg in front, but because we think there's no reason to start from a distance like this. Because if he will keep his and we want somehow run through a picture we see in the, in the plate of this plate, there's no chance that we start from, from a position like this and, and start hitting each other. So we interpret like in the previous play, some kind of Zufechten, where I stand with my left leg in front, and now I'm in a perfect range with my, with my grip to strike for his arm. And it's a pretty easy thing for him to deny it and strike back by just um, bringing his stick to my... Um, swinging parts block them off and his swinging parts will automatically come to my head. So it's, it's not really a thing, he does the step, he blocks this and come to my head. So, and now things get difficult and we tried our best and present you our solution of this interpretation. Um, because Maya now scribes, I should do a double triangle step. And we figured out that it's very uncomfortable for me to, when I am um, answering his strike and bring him back, I step out, change the vector of my direction, and perform one triangle step. And there is no time and no reason for me to do a second triangle step until he um, parries this and is blocked from this side then, doing the triangle step back again and strike for the other side of his head with the um, lower end of my weapon. So this is what we think about this double triangle step, one in the full way, one in the back way, um, because when we do this, um, I do the strike and I do one, two, and then one, two again, doesn't sound really good for him. I'm in a bad position if I move more far outboard on, on his right side. Um, it's pretty difficult for me to come back for a strike to his left side. So we choose our solution and our interpretation here to do one on the left side and then just stepping back to the previous position um, to get the, the strike with the lower end. So. Conclusion, Paulo Hector Meyer Flay plays. I think we have seen a common of this in the, in the Bauernstock peasant stuff things. It's a very, very interesting thing to work with these uh, flails. Thank you again to my uh, lab club for uh, giving them to us for this place. And we, in the last play, we still say this is fantasy. So essentially, this year, this is fantasy. There should be no um, really no, 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 no uh, chain or something like this between those both parts. 
as you can see it in the pictures. Um, maybe this is a little bit longer part, but they should be essentially connected or linked uh, directly to each other. So when you see that our weapon slings around each other, this is something you may not have in this, um, in this crazy stuff or in this, in this uh, intensity um, than we have with this things, but they are nice looking and um, so we use them because they some kind of hold than everything else we build with, with gaffer tape and something like this. So we hope you enjoyed it. Um, it's a very, very interesting thing. Again, um, the last two plays where he describes not the Zufechten, so where we just see some, some postures where you think this is not a position you're going to start a fight in because you're still that close that you can hit him with your pure hand and not use a weapon anymore. So the, the time for doing steps and doing actions is still over then when you are um, that close to each other, like in the last play when, we, when he stands with this. And if, if I now start trying, he, he just um, could hit me or um, I, I just would, would, would stab to him like this and there's, there's no reason for me to perform a strike from this distance. Just when he does a step backward, then you see there is the distance um, where we're gonna are in the in the kill range with with these weapons. So this is an another another interesting thing that you have a, a very dangerous far end of this weapon, and as closer you get to your enemy, as I think not harmless but less scary this weapon gets. So you are, and this is something what Leonard and I personally enjoy. You really get in close combat and you can push and pull and, and something may the next step is you will throw this away, put a dagger and keeps on fighting. So, yeah. Um, we enjoyed it. Let us know what you think about it. Long text at the end. Maybe Christian will cut it and just you will see this in the, in the summary of everything. Maybe not. So this gets a very long video. Um, yeah, but that's it. For today, that's it for Paulus Hector Meyer's flail place, playthrough number one, let's say this. <laughs> um, yeah, we will soon, so this is something nobody knows, I just talked with one person about it. We will start a, a second run of the pole arms because we teased it the last or some time ago when we just had to bring the weapons again and uh, replayed something and we checked the video we've done previously and said, oh, we had to do this again in, um, with all the things we've learned between and implement them because we see some, some things that I'm not happy with. So see you then, hopefully soon. Have a nice day. Uh, yeah, stay, uh, stay tuned and thank you and thank you. Thank you.